So here we go then. Welcome back to another edition of Meet the Opposition. And today I'm joined by Lucy Ford, a Bristol Rose fan and co-founder of Her Game 2, head of the game at Portman Road on Tuesday night. Lucy, thanks for joining me first of all. How are you doing? Oh, thanks for having me. Yes, I'm feeling all good. Thank you. I hope you are well yourself. Yeah, all good, Lucy. And um, yeah, Joe Barton and co coming down the Porton Road on Tuesday night. Of course, we'll be back in action. Um, of course, all games are postponed on the weekend, of course, as a respect to um, the, uh, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. But we're back in action on Tuesday night. Um, let's recap Bristol Rovers so far then. 16th in League One, back in League One, of course, after the dramatic promotion. Um, how would you recap the season so far? Um, well, to be honest... We don't ever start very well at the start of the season, to be honest. Um, so I'm kind of not really surprised by our start. Um, it's definitely been a bit stop-start, win one, lose one. Um, you know, the last couple of games at home have probably been a bit frustrating, um, playing against Shrewsbury Town um, and Morecambe and only picking up a point in each game instead of three. It's been a little bit frustrating. Um, we have, you know, we've suffered a few injuries as well, but so has every team. So it's just been kind of, I would say a regular kind of Rover start, to be honest. We we don't start well. So I'm hoping that, you know, we can kind of get a bit of momentum and kind of find our feet. And hopefully once we find our feet, then we'll start to improve slowly but surely. Yeah, 16th in League One. Two wins, two draws, three defeats. Um, what would you say is the current mood among, town, you know, Bristol Rover fans? Joe Barton, what's he saying going into this game? Um, You know... We're under no illusions like uh, Tuesday night, sorry, will be a tough game. Um, you know, Ipswich have started the season extremely, extremely well. Um, you know, I think people are kind of looking forward to it. Um, but, you know, we're under no illusions that Tuesday will be a tough game for us and, you know, you know one of the bigger teams in the league. You know, but we're going to probably be going there. Um, kind of, the, the, you know, the manager want us to go there with the best intentions, you know, try and win the game because that's, that's, you know, when you coming into you know a higher league, obviously you know you will need to find your feet, but you want to be seen as competing as well. Um, and I know that's what Joey wants. He wants us to be competing at this level. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of like the feeling amongst the fans. Um, I think it will be a good game. You know, a good atmosphere under the lights. Even though you know it would have been so good to play on a Saturday as well. Um, and obviously the last time we played at Ipswich Town was back in December 2019, and I think we got a pretty good result that day. Yeah, I can't remember the game itself, but um, yeah, I think it was a good result for, for Bristol Rovers and co. And uh, yeah, it'll be an interesting game under lights. It'll be an emotional night, of course, because yeah. of, you know, the, with, you know, National Anthem and everything going on. And of course, we've also got the connection with Marcus Stewart, um, of course, the news of his diagnosis. And, um, you know, he's got a great connection with both clubs. Um, but let's talk about what game we can expect from a Joe Barton side then. Um what can we expect? Yeah. What sort of game? Yeah, I mean, Joey kind of likes to play out from the back. Um, you know, we've got a pretty strong goalkeeper in, in James Belshaw. Um, and, you know, we've got our defence is quite young. Um, definitely, definitely quite young now. Um, and, you know, he wants to play that expansive football. Um, obviously, it's a little bit different this year because we don't have our lone players from last year, such as Connor Taylor and obviously Elliot Anderson. Um, but, you know, we have got some new players in um, to kind of, you know, it's very difficult to replace those sorts of players, but to try and, you know, replace them. Um, Bobby Thomas came in from Burnley on deadline day. Um, we brought Luke McCormack back in, um, who we had on had on loan back in the 2020-2021 the season, um, who then went to AFC Wimbledon and has now come back to Rovers. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the way that Joey wants to play. You know, when we, you know, we don't want to be getting into this kind of hoofball, you know, because there are some teams in that in this league that will try and play that. Um, and that's not Joey's style at all. He much rather play the the the, the good football. Um, I guess you know with a team like Ipswich Town, you know they're gonna want a lot of possession. So we might be kind of more counter attacking. Um, but it will be very interesting. It will be very interesting to see what the game's like. I'm hoping it will be a good game of football. Um, and you know when you're you're playing against you know I'd be the better teams. You kind of uh, it feels like everyone kind of almost steps their game up, in a sense. OK, then. Well, um, let's take a look um, at the last 11 against Morecambe. Of course, it was a 2-2 a draw at home for you guys. Um, this is the last 11. Um, some names that st st well, stick out, of course, Aaron Collins, your, your main man at the moment, four goals, three assists. Um, also, John Marquis, he's been the man who's been scoring the goals in, in this division for a very long time. But any other players you should look out for? And Aaron Collins is the main man in it. 
Yeah, um, obviously, like you said, Collins is really taken to to League One like a duck to water, to be honest. Um, I'm so pleased for him because it took him a little while to find his feet at Rovers last season. But once he got one, that was it. Um, and he wasn't, you know, he was kind of playing as the number nine and he's not really a number nine. He likes to play off the, you know, a bigger kind of centre forward. Um, and obviously this year we're kind of playing as a front three uh, with Marcus and Ryan Loft. Um, obviously you brought Lofty in um, back in January. Um, and we weren't really sure about him. He scored at Port Vale and that was his only goal. Um, and this year I was like, mm, maybe we might go out on loan, you know. Uh, how is he going to fit in? Um, but actually, he's kind of surprised a lot of people he scored. I think South three and three. Um, I know he scored against um, Morecambe last, not last Saturday, the Saturday before. Um, and, you know, it's you know, it really, really surprising to see, you know, how well he started. And, you know, we are really pleased for him because, you know, you want not, you don't want to rely on just one player. You want to rely on your whole kind of, the whole team to, you know, chip in goals where they can. Um, so to have two or, two out of our three kind of centre force firing with, you know, Harvey Saunders, a different kind of player on the bench as well. Um, it's, it's a good thing. And, you know, but, you know, you need like players like McCormack and Evans, you know, um, Evans had an excellent season last year. Um, like you're creative midfielders to also kind of help, you know, the strikers out and um, probably talk about more of a defence. Um, like I said, Bobby Thomas came in on loan on deadline day, scored second equaliser on debut. Um, big, big centre-back, uh, centre I should say, uh, quite young, um, but kind of settled in really well. So that's really pleasing. Um, and obviously Belshaw as well. He, he's he been our saviour on many occasions um, last season. Um, really, really, really decent goalkeeper from League Two level. Um, I'm really kind of stepping up into League One as well. Um, so, yeah, obviously kind of we kind of looking at that um, starting eleven. there's kind of a dip. What we didn't have the last one in League One was we did not have the balance right of older players and younger players. Well, this year we kind of, it is a little bit better in terms of, you know, we've got Paul Coates playing, um, you know, has hundreds of appearances in the Football League, Sam Finlay as well, a little bit of older heads, um, because obviously the fence is really quite young. Um, and obviously you've got Marcus, who's like early 30s, obviously Collins is only about 24, 25. So yeah, I would definitely say the balance is better than what it was. That's good to hear. And um, I'm I'm been told, and I've been doing some research as well. Um, set pieces is a bit of a bit of a worry for for, for you. You can see a lot of set pieces. Of course, Town top of the league at the moment, unbeaten. Um, and we've got threat there. We we're hoping to score more goals and for, you know corner kicks and everything like that. Is that something you're a bit worried about for the game? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a concern. You know, it's it's just something that you know I think because we kind of haven't really had that big kind of central defender until obviously Bobby's come in. We've kind of been lacking, you know, our our, our centre, like our defence isn't the tallest in the world. And yeah, it does kind of concern me. I kind of get in the stage where, you know, centre, like a corner happens or a free kick, you're like, oh, what's going to happen? It's either, you know, the goalkeeper hopefully makes a really great save or you get it out from defence. But yeah, it's definitely been something that has been a concern. And I'm hope and I'm sure that the you know the management team are working on this and training. Um, but that's thing is just cutting out those fine mistakes because I think that's the difference between League Two and League One is you know you can get you know defenses will work. Um, sorry, attacking teams and you know other teams will work you out if they can ex exploit that weakness in you. Then they will continue to to grind it down, and that's you know that is a bit of a worry at the moment because you know we have we have kept a couple of clean sheets, but we have kind of started to ship goals and they've been you know sometimes they've been you know if a goal from like 25 yards out and it's an absolutely outstanding strike you know sometimes you have to say do you know what that was a really good goal but then you know when it's those like defensive errors or you know set pieces that is kind of a bit more frustrating and it's like but then that is something to work on as well okay then and um of course, Joe Barton will be well up for this. He loves going against the big teams, going to Portman Road in that dugout against Kira McKenna. Um, of course, some some bad results in terms against the big teams in League One, air quotes. Of course, uh, the 3-1 defeat at Pompey and the 3-0 defeat at Barnsley. But how are you feeling going into this game? Your overall thoughts? I mean, I'll get your predictions later on. Um, I think you've got to go into every game thinking that, you know, you can get a result out of it. I think, you, you know, this league is... It's, it is a big league. It's a tough league. Um, you know, I've been, you know, we, we were looking at the start of the season and I was going through the teams and, you know, there's like 10 teams that could really be competing, you know, just on stature alone. 
Um, and, you know, clubs that have come down from the Championship, clubs that have been in League One for a number of years now that were in the Championship at a high level. Um, but, you know, we want to come into this league to compete as well. Um, and I think we should just go into it, you know, like we approach every game, you know, it's, you know, it's just a team, you know, it's 11 men against 11 men. Um, and there's no reason, you know, obviously I'm not going to make no illusions of the fact that, you know, you're unbeaten, you're top of the league, you know, um, you've had an excellent start, which, you know, sometimes that's half the battle in itself. But, you know, you've got to, you've got to go into it feeling optimistic and hopeful and positive because otherwise you're like, well, you kind of, you're already like 2-0 down in your own head, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think so too. And, uh, well, prediction time then. What, what are you thinking? <laughs> could, for me, I think this game could go either way where town could, you know, sadly say, yeah. batter Bristol Rovers or Bristol Rovers will give us a game and really go for it what, what do you reckon yeah you're right there and that's the thing like obviously uh, in the back of my mind I know that the the game against Barnsley we did not play well Portsmouth was a little bit different um you know there were some decisions that did not go our way that day um and you know I think 3-1 was an unfair reflection on us um considering how we paid especially in the second half um and you know other things that happened that day um I am going to be hopeful and I'm going to go with a one all draw because that's it that we seem to like drawing at the moment. Um, obviously, I would, you know, I'd love to sneak a win, but, you know, I've got to be optimistic and I'm going to say we're going to, going to nick a point. Do you know what? That's what I've gone for. I've gone for a draw <laughs> and also I've gone for a, a town win if it goes that way. But, um, but yeah, you guys at the moment are drawing. Um, the last two games have been draws and um, a lot of goals in games as well. So we should expect a lot of goals under lights of Porton Road um, Tuesday night. But Lucy, it's been a pleasure. Thanks very much for joining me. Any other business? Any other notes before we wrap up? Um, no, I don't think there's anything else from me. Um, obviously, that I wanted to echo your thoughts about Marcus Stewart. Obviously, um, we were so... I was so shocked to hear the news on, on Thursday. Um, and I hope that, you know, all the travelling gas heads and, of course, I know the Epsic fans as well, um, will we'll sing his name um, during the game because I know that we're all, uh, the whole football family, but especially former clubs, will be, will be there supporting him um, during this you know, difficult time that he's going through at the moment. Definitely well said. Well, thank you, Lucy, for joining me. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And make sure to follow the game with us um, on Tuesday night at Portman Road. Bring it on. Bye-bye for now.